everyone, my name is Tiffy and welcome back to another Honest Review. So you guys really loved the series and I know it's been a long time since I've done one, but I am ready to dive into some brands and merch slash merchandise. Uh, so if you have any um, brands or YouTubers merchandise, that you want me to check out, leave a comment down below and I will review them honestly for you. So today we're gonna to be checking out Chetty Fresh. This is created by Hila and Ethan, also known as H3H3 here on YouTube. And uh, I know they are big in the podcast world as well, but they have a massive clothing brand that just exploded. Um, I haven't seen a clothing line explode this quickly from a creator. I personally have never purchased anything from them. I'm ready to get fresh with Teddy Fresh. So I honestly, I ordered this so long ago. I don't remember what I ordered and I don't remember how much it is. So I hope they have a little invoice in here for me to refresh my memory. So let's go ahead and open this up. All right, and as, as I'm opening this, you can already see, of course I ordered colorful stuff. I mean, I, what I really love about their brown so far from the outside, not looking at the actual quality, is that it's super colorful and fun, and I love the color blocking that they use with like the pastel colors. So let's check out the quality. How oh, cute. Aw, look at how cute this little keychain is. I didn't even order that, that, that was free. It's the small things, the little things that count. All right, so I got five different items just to be as diverse as I can. We're gonna go over their hoodie, their t-shirts, their sweaters, their hats because they're really big on bucket hats and socks because I love socks. Okay, so I'm gonna start off with this hoodie, which is adorable. I love the color. Let's get it out of here. All right, so we got the little branded tag right here. It has a little thank you on the back with their little scan code, smart. And then this is actually embroidered on. We also have some embroidery on the sleeves here. Oh, I'm actually really surprised that this is embroidered. Normally the, this would be like silk screen on. The more embroidery you have, the more expensive the item probably is to make. So um, this is already pretty impressive right now because it's on both sides. Yeah, so we have one, two, three, four, five, six different locations for embroidery. Let's go ahead and take a look on the inside. Ooh, I'm gonna flip this inside out. First impressions though, this feels very, very soft and thick. Like it's a very good hoodie. Um, if we take a look at the inside, oh my goodness. Yes, honey. All right, so the embroidery is done very, very neatly. Pretty much no mistakes there on the arms. Same thing, no leftover um, paper or I forgot the correct term for it. And all of the seams are just like really well done. This is impressive. I am, um, uh, yeah, this looks great. As far as the quality goes, there is nothing bad that I can say about this sweater. This is definitely a five out of five quality. Okay, we have a tag on the inside here, but a contents tag I didn't see. Oh, here we go. 100% cotton. Easy as that. Yeah, this is really, really impressive. Even the little like things that they have here for the drawstrings, they match. They match the color perfectly, so. No complaints on uh, quality or design here. I'm gonna have to try it on to give it a full review, but we'll set this aside and open up the other ones. So my mistake, I thought I actually got a long sleeve, but this is a t-shirt. Ice cream color block t-shirt. Oh my gosh, and I know that this one actually had sold out and I managed to get it right when they restocked it. But here is the t-shirt. I got it in a size small. Um, the sweater, the hoodie is a size medium. So this is what a size small looks like. I will try it on for you guys, but I love the fabric. I love the color. So obviously this is a little bit more pricey because it is color blocked and it's not printed on. All of the different colors you see here are sewn on um, separately. Makes it a little more pricey. All the lines seem pretty straight though. I'm gonna flip this inside out. Oh wow, okay, I'm okay, I am pretty impressed with this too. They've matched the thread um, with each color fabric. I would have thought they would have used like a white all throughout or something, but they got pink, teal, and yellow. And then we have the embroidery in here, which is pretty much flawless again. Just a little small thing. Uh, but on the bottom, you can see here that there's three different colors. They have matched all across 
the color teal in the middle and they have used teal thread on the bottom on the yellow and teal thread on the pink as well. I can understand this because it has to be done all in one. So I don't know what the solution for that would have been, but you can see the thread on the other side. Honestly, I don't think it's that big of a deal. It's just, it looks like it could be part of the design. And on, again, that's just being like super nitpicky. Pretty impressed. Everything seems very, very straight, but we won't be able to tell until we try it on. So far, quality is good. And if I really want to get picky about it, uh, which is it's not super noticeable, but there are just a, li it's a little bit of discoloration in the fabric on the back. I don't think the camera's gonna be able to pick it up. Um, it just looks like maybe from the bag or something, it might've picked up some of the color. It's not even noticeable unless you're really looking for something. This is so cute. I love their, I love their branding. I love the logo. I love their use of embroidery. They, you can tell they really, they don't go cheap with the, their, their clothing. All right. We'll set this one aside. All right, so next up is the color block button up t-shirt. Packaged really nicely, pressed really nicely. Oh my gosh, I love the bright colors. I love it. So this is a size small as well. I wanted to get a small because I, I want to wear these myself, not my husband. <laughs> if we look at the pocket here, we got a little tag right here, a nice little pocket. Even inside of the pocket, like the way that the fabric is cut, it's just, nicely done all the buttons are sewn on correctly um and then we have the back here looks good let's take a look at the inside this one is also made of 100 percent cotton which i could see it doesn't have any stretch to it the seams look great everything is just so neat but again this is one that i am excited to try on now that we got the clothing out of the way, let's try the accessories. So I'll start off with the bucket hats. I normally don't wear bucket. I don't think I've ever owned a bucket hat. So I got a black one. I know that there were two colors to choose from at the time that I got this. And then it has a little patch, a Teddy Fresh patch right here. It's not embroidered. Um, it is sewn on. The patch is sewn on and then a corduroy fabric all around. You can't really tell any mistakes. Um, there is like a little, oh, a little loose thread there, but that's not, nothing is unraveling, which is good. To be honest, I guess I'm not the best judge at this because I've never owned a bucket hat, but to me, I mean, it looks fine. Let me just try it on. See if I look good in bucket hats. Oh my gosh, I feel like I'm from the 80s or the 90s. Ooh, girl. Your girl just got a bucket hat. It's actually kind of cute. I know my painting's behind me. You can't really see it on camera, but look, it's pretty cute. I think I may start wearing this. It's actually very comfortable. I'm gonna keep it on while we open up the socks and take a look at them. I do love me a good pair of socks. There is only a one size sock. Um, let's get them out of their packaging here. And then they have care instructions on this actual thing right here. One size, 80% cotton, 18% nylon, 2% spandex, made in China, machine wash cold. That's one thing that I didn't see on these shirts is where it's made. I'm pretty sure it's made in China. Yeah. They don't have on the actual clothing where the clothing is made. It doesn't say anywhere. Oh, these are so cute. So here are the socks. They're adorable. I'm gonna have to try them on, but they feel very thick. Made well. Oh my gosh, these seem really, really cozy. I cannot wait to try these on. Okay, so. I'm gonna head over and try everything on and model for you. So initially when I first tried on the hoodie, I felt like it was a little bit small for a medium, but once I got it over my head, I felt like it fit me pretty comfortably. Really do stand by it being good quality fabric. It's a very thick hoodie, 
Seems like it'll keep you warm. I also had my husband Mario try it on since a lot of you wanted to see it on a male body. So here is Mario wearing the hoodie. He normally wears a size medium in t-shirts and a large in hoodies. He did mention it does feel a little bit small. The price for this hoodie is $79 and I honestly think it's a fair price for the quality of this. I mean, the embroidery is on both sides of the arms and the center. The production is pretty much flawless with these sweaters. The fabric is great. The hoodie is comfortable. It doesn't fit the body weird. So I definitely really love this hoodie. Love the color, love the design. Next up, we got the ice cream color block t-shirt, which was $45. And trying this on, I feel like it is very thick. Normally I like my shirts to be a little bit thinner, but this is definitely a more heavier t-shirt. This is also a small, I know that comes in a woman's size, but I purchased the, I guess, unisex size because I like my t-shirts to fit more loosely and not to my body. I feel like for a size small, it's definitely true to size. Seeing it on camera though, I really do love these colors together, especially against this rainbow wall. I also want to mention I like the cut of this t-shirt. I like the length of the arms and the length of the t-shirt itself. I just feel like overall this is a nice fitting t-shirt. I did not have Mario try this one on because it is a size small. It would be too small on him. Next up we have the color block button up shirt. This is in the pastel color and this is $49. Now I don't really wear button up shirts much but I wanted to show you all this and I wanted to see how this fits on my body. This is a size small. The quality of the shirt I feel like is very nice, but I personally would probably not make another purchase similar to this just because I feel like with my body it doesn't really flatter me. The fabric is a little bit stiff, but I'm not sure if that is normal within button-up shirts or if we were to wash it a couple times if that would loosen up the fabric, but it is very, very stiff. I do love the colors used in this and the design of a button-up shirt, but um, this is probably my least favorite from the bunch. So next up is the corduroy bucket hat in black. There are also two alternative colors that it comes in, but bad news, it's sold out on their website. I believe it's still available on Zoomies for $34. So this was a surprising purchase for me. I wanted to add this to the video solely just for versatility, but after wearing this hat, I really love it. The quality of the hat is really nice. I love the tiny little teddy fresh uh, bear patch that is sewn on. I don't know, this one just caught me by surprise. It fits my head pretty nicely. It's not super snug, so I know it's only one size. This is a super cute piece to add to your wardrobe, and honestly, I think this can work both for men and women. I love the way men look in bucket hats. I think they look so adorable. Last but not least, we have the rainbow multicolored striped socks. These are $14 and they only come in one size. I think the quality of these socks are very nice. The socks feel really thick, like they're gonna keep my feet very warm. Not only that, they're pretty cozy to walk around in and not to mention the actual execution on this is really nice. The lines are straight, the colors are great. What else more can I say about socks? So after trying on these pieces, we are going to rate our overall purchase based off of four different categories. We're going to rate it off of price, design, quality, and versatility, which is one of the newest ones I've added per your request. For price, I feel like they are a little bit on the higher side, but you are getting your money's worth when it comes to quality. So these kind of play in together. I'm gonna give it a five star on the price because you are getting what you are paying for. As far as design goes, I'm also giving them a five star just because I feel like it's really fresh. I didn't even mean to say fresh. <laughs> I feel silly. No wonder why they're called Teddy Fresh. But I really do feel like with their designs, they're bringing something fresh and new to the table. As far as quality goes, this is also going to be another five star for me. You are definitely getting what you're paying for when it comes to 
the quality of the fabric. You are really feeling like you are wearing something that is high quality when you're wearing these pieces. And last but not least, versatility. I think I'm gonna have to give them a five star in versatility as well. You can dress up the pieces, you can wear them to chill. A lot of the pieces that they have in the store match each other, so it's really easy to match different pieces from your wardrobe. So these are definitely pieces that you can add to your wardrobe, wear them a lot, and get really good use out of them. I'm gonna say I am pretty impressed with the brand. Um, I did not really see anything wrong with the quality. It was made really well, the fabrics they used, the colors, I loved everything about it. Um, so I hope you guys liked this honest review. If you did, please let me know, leave a like on the video. It really does help. Comment down below who you would like me to review next. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't seen the video I have done on Cloak or Suzuki Market, go ahead and check those out. I'll make a playlist for you all. That's it for me today. I will see you all later. Bye.